Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter seven, lesson three. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. You can, it says to use fractions, but you absolutely can if you really want to. This is the only problem I'm gonna do that for, okay? So our denominator stays the same, and four plus five is nine. Now you can see I colored four of them purple and five of them pink to get a total of nine colored in, okay? So you can see that, okay? So remember, denominator stays the same. And then one plus two is three. Well, three over three is equal to one. So you can totally do that. Okay. So now I'm going to do one more for you guys. And then I'm going to turn you loose. Okay. Denominator stays the same. Two plus one is three. Okay. You guys go ahead and do through number 10. You totally can. I believe in you, okay? And we are gonna go down and do our word problems, okay? So, Lola walks four tenths of a mile to her friend's house and then walks five tenths of a mile to the store. How far does she walk in all? Well, four tenths plus five tenths, you can see up here, is nine tenths of a mile. Four, four plus five is nine. Okay. All right. Number 12 says Evan eats one eighth of a pan of lasagna and his brother eats two eighths of it. What fraction of the pan of lasagna did they eat? One eighth plus two eighths. The denominator stays the same. And one plus two is three. Of the lasagna. Hold on, I just spelled that wrong. There we go. Okay. Jacqueline buys two quarters of a yard of green ribbon and one quarter of a yard of pink ribbon. How many yards of ribbon does she buy? Well, the denominator stays the same. Two plus one is three. And make sure you label it with yards. Okay. All right. She mixes two thirds of a pound of peanuts with one third of a pound of almonds. How many pounds of nuts does she mix? Well, the denominator stays the same, and two plus one is three. One pound, because three over three is equal to one. Okay, you can put three over three pounds. Sure, the correct answer, but it's equal to one. So take your pick. Okay, all right. We're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do your lesson check, just like always. We're going to go down and do a spell review. Karen is making 14 different kinds of greeting cards. She's making 12 of each kind. How many greeting cards will she make? Well, 14 times 12. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. We're going to tick, which we don't have any at this point. Tack and toe, and then 1 times 14 is 14. We add those up. We're going to get eight, six, one, so 168 cards. You guys can write that a little smaller, a little neater. I'm writing it a little bigger so you can see it. Okay. Jefferson works part time and earns $1,520 in four weeks. How much does he earn each week? Okay. So one, five, two, zero. And we're going to divide that. Says in four weeks. We're going to divide it by four. Okay. Four is not going to go into one, but it'll go into 15 three times. Three times four is 12. Subtract, get three. Bring down our two. Okay. Four goes into 32 eight times. Eight times four is 32. We get zero. Okay. See that zero right there? Because this ended in a zero and we have a zero left, we can just move that up, which means 300 and $80 a week, okay? All right. By installing efficient water fixtures, the average American can reduce water use by about 45 gallons of water per day. Using such water fixtures, about how many gallons of water would the average American use in December? Well, Oh, 
So I'm going to take that 45, and December has 31 days in it. Okay? So let's do some math. Okay? And it says about. Okay? So we're going to round that 45 to 50, and we're going to round 31 to 30. Okay? Then I'm going to take those two zeros. I'm going to put them on the end because I don't want to multiply anything by zero. And I'm going to go 3 times 5 is 15. So about 1,500 gallons. There you go. Okay? Okay. Colin is making a bulletin board and a note sensor. He's using a square cork tile and square dry erase tiles. One of every three squares will be cork square. If he uses 12 squares for the center, how many will be cork squares? Okay, so okay, so he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, now three squares for every one dry erase. Okay, wait. Oh, gotcha. We don't have to do that. Okay, so 12, 3, now we're good. Okay, 3 is not going to go into 1, it'll go into 12, 4 times and 3 times 4 is 12. So, 4 squares. Got it. Sorry, guys. All right, y'all, thanks for hanging out for 7.3. Come on back for 7.4 soon.